Hello everyone and welcome back in lockdown cooking. We made a post on Instagram and the question was would you like an easy dessert or a challenging dessert and the votes went towards the challenging dessert. So today we are going to make a financier. Financier is a French cake um, it literally means financer um, and it's, it used to be, um, well traditionally it's baked in molds that are like square and it looks like um, golden bars uh, like the ones that you have in, um, in the banks and uh, this is why it is called a uh, financier um, so yeah, let's get cooking I tie my hair up, I wash my hands Let's go! So, what do we need for this? We will need a pinch of salt. We will need three, egg, uh, three eggs and we're going to use only the egg whites for this. So I'm going to teach you how to separa separate the yolks from the whites. So that's one challenge. Um, we need 30 grams of flour, plain flour please, not self-raising flour. 30 grams, three zero, and then we will need something that is called um, ground almonds or almond flour, and we need 85 grams of this. I've put it already in the bowl here, so it will be easier for later. So 30 grams of flour, 85 grams of almond flour, then we will need 150 grams of icing sugar, that I've done already here for you, so that's done, 150 grams of that. And then we will need 100 grams of butter. And what we, what we do with this butter, and that's the first thing you're going to do, I've actually done it already, just in order to go a bit uh, faster. But you, you're going to melt this butter on low to medium heat, and once it's melted, you're gonna keep um, cooking it a little bit for a good 10-15 minutes until it looks brown and it smells a little bit nutty. Um, so we call it in French beurre noisette, which means hazelnut butter. Um, and once you have your hazelnut butter, it looks brown and it, it smells a bit nutty. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video from the camera, I'm not really sure, it's quite dark. Um, but once your butter looks brown, um, you will be right, you can take it off. So I'll take it off the heat and you let it cool down a little bit. Okay, so that's what we need. Uh, I've got a whisk, I'm gonna need a brush, I've got two bowls, um, and I'm going to need a measuring jug um, that is just for pouring it in my molds. Now normally we use, like I said, square types of molds so that it looks like golden bars, um, but I don't have these, so I'm just going to use the normal muffin trays. Um, so here we go. Right, first challenge, the egg whites. Okay, so what you need to do is, you need to give a little top, so there's a little crack um, in here, then you're going to use your two thumbs, and you're going to open it like this, so all your whites will just go in your bowl. I'm going to try to go a bit closer for you to see it. I hope you will go on the camera. So there we go, a little crack, just like that. And look at, I can use my two thumbs. Let's see if I can separate really slowly. There we go, okay. All right, what I do now is I'm gonna pour the yolk a few times from one eggshell, one side of the eggshell to the other one. Okay. That's one. Let's go for the next one. Little crack. There we go. Use my thumbs. Break it up. Don't worry about it. If it gets messy, it is alright. You will get better at this the more you do it. This is quite gloopy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's done. Now, I've been touching raw eggs. I need to wash my hands. Alright, 
So, once I have um, got my egg whites, just go to whisk them for one minute, nothing more. Don't have to whisk too much, just a minute. And as you see, I kind of tilt my bowl, it just makes my life easier when I'm, I'm whisking. If you do it flat, you have to do like these big motions with your arms. And I can just use my wrists, do little circular motions like this. I hope you can see it on the camera. Something that looks like that. Here we go. Okay, get another bowl. I'm gonna first start by mixing all my dry stuff together. So I got my 30 grams of flour. Don't need to sieve it, you can if you want to, you don't have to. Um, I've got my almonds, so my ground almonds, and my 150 grams of. Icing sugar. I gotta go really gentle with the icing sugar because it's so long that it just explodes everywhere. Alright, just mix these in a little bit. Okay, first thing we do, we're going to put our egg yolks or our egg whites in here. And mix them. Okay, we start to have a nice little base there, if you see this. So we will mix. See how brown it is. Wait a minute, if I do not. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave a bit of butter in there. You can see that it's very brown. So that's my hazelnut butter. Gonna mix it really well. And it smells really, really, really good. Honestly, it smells really good. Love it. Okay, and that is my mixture done. Alright, so to make my life easier, I'm going to take a spatula, put this in this one, in the measuring, measuring jug, and we're going to be able to pour it in a hopefully easy and clean way. There you go. Alright, now you're wondering why I have my brush here. Just my brush, it's just to use the last bits of butter that's in here. I'm just going to brush my molds. I think with this I might probably have six, or six and eight of them. Also, what I've done, um, I've preheated the oven at 200 degrees, so this one is ready to go as well. well let's just do Eight holes, that should be enough. Use 
green spoon. So I'm going to pour this in here. And I can, because I use plain flour, not self-raising flour, it will not rise too much. So you can go nearly to the top if you'd like to. That is fine. So let's go here. Okay, I'll pour it in. Okay. Up. And I catch it with my spoon. Just to avoid that there's too much butter that goes on the side because that will burn and that will create more washing up, which we don't want. kitchen towel just to go see I had six of them just to go on the sides here because you don't want this to start burning while you're cooking okay and you see I nearly went to the top everywhere Hop. boom so let's work it in the oven at 200 degrees um, it will be 15 to 20 minutes just depending on how deep your mold is or how much butter you've put um, so yeah 15 to 20 minutes Remember the good old trick, if you're not sure, um, if it's ready, you take um, a screwer, go inside, if it's dry, you're good to go. Alright, so let's do this. I'll put a timer in for 15 minutes just to have a look. And if needed, I'll leave it a little bit longer. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, lovely people, we're back in the kitchen. Uh, while I was waiting, my washing up is done, so I didn't waste my time with this. Um, I eventually, I did um, the, the trick with the skewer um, a few times, and I let, it, I let them cook for 22 minutes at the end. Um, so always double check, is it dry or not? If it's not dr uh, dry, if it's a bit moist, leave it for a little bit longer. Alright, so what I've done now, I've taken them out five minutes ago um, just to let um, my trays cool down a little bit and but also they keep on cooking a little bit in um, the tray while it's cooking while it's cooling down. Um, and this should make my life easier to take them out. So what I'm going to use, um, normally you can use a chef knife, but I don't have one of those. They are at school, but they don't they, I don't have one here. So I'm just gonna use a normal buttering knife. And what you do, this is good, yeah, you just go around and separate the side bits, just like that. And since we had so much butter in there, it should normally go out very easy. Oh, this one is a bit difficult. Alright. Now, like I said, normally, uh, this one is an easy one. There you go. Nice. There you go. So, like I said earlier, you you should put them in like a, a square type of mold. Um, that is how you make them traditionally. Also, these molds are a little bit smaller than these ones. Um, but that's all right. We do it whatever we have. Look at this. Great. It's gonna be a difficult one. No. There you go. Okay. Let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. 
this is the right treat guys I tell you you're gonna love this um, okay so here we go there is my recipe for les financiers give it a try it is a right treat treat um, I'm thinking actually to hide these because if my family see them it's gonna be eaten straight away so I might just keep two for me um, on the side okay so I hope you enjoy it good luck Stay safe everyone and see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.